Hey you guys, welcome back to another review of Love Match Atlanta. This show is good. If you ain't watching what you waiting on, this show is good. Stay tuned for more. What's up, Coed fam? Welcome back to another video of Courtney and Eddie. I'm Eddie, aka E Dub. <clears throat> this is my lovely wife. Courtney, also known as Coco. And this is Courtney and Eddie. This channel is all about relationship reviews and entertainment. And tonight we're gonna to be talking about Love Match Atlanta. So if you're brand new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. If you're watching us on Facebook, make sure you hit like and follow. And on all social media sites, comment down below. For Before we get into it, make sure you head on over to our brand store, coedwear.com, to purchase the merch that we're wearing today, plus the Juneteenth hat, which Juneteenth is finna be Monday, right? No, Sunday. It's on Father's Day. Yeah. When's Father's this weekend? Yeah. Yeah. Shoot. Yeah, give me that song. Yeah. So um, anyway, <laughs> um, but yeah, this weekend. And um, and hey, don't forget to join our Patreon. Join our Patreon. All of that is in the description below. We're gonna have exclusive content just for patrons. All right, you guys, let's get into it. If you want to purchase makeup, go on over to, to the lip bar and use our promo code COEFAM and get a discount. Again, all of that's down in the description. Okay, so let's get into it. So it starts out. Why well, I be writing her name Mingle? Me, <coughs> me. Yo, he gonna be doing this the whole. I'm time. trying. To, what happened was before we saw Femin, I was singing Jay Z, Big Pimpin, and somehow when I was singing Big Pimpin, P I G, the slob went down the wrong pipe <coughs> and choked me. So my throat is kind of rough right now. So. Yeah, I know y'all wondering the same thing, and I'm quite sure you caught that. <laughs> Big Pimp and P.I.G. I didn't think it was Pig, but okay, then, yeah, you know. Yeah, so. that's what I heard. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> man, people like to eat pig, bacon, sausage, you know. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what they hear, but uh, wow. so yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So he started choking, and he ain't been right since. Can't get right. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so me is welcoming her new client. What is his name? I'm stead. I'm stead. I'm stead. They call him. That's not his real name. I think they call him because he looked like the guy that played in I'm stead. Uh, oh, okay. Demon. I forget. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They kind of do look alike. Um, so he's from St. Thomas, but she met him when she was trying to uh, look for Scott. I think one of her clients some clothes. Yeah. So you know, he was just that was his shop or something yeah. like that. So you know. <laughs> anyway, so he's from St. Thomas. He's kind. He's into fitness, you know, because she said she checked out his IG page and he all the lifting weights and yeah, stuff man. like that. So I don't want to hear about well, when a man gets a certain age, he get that little gut. Cause brother, he ain't had that gut, man. So well, yeah. I don't know how he did it, man. Well, he probably just <laughs> eat right, you know. Eat, you know, can't eat. Uh, Pig. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't eat eat all these snacks and stuff. Don't you want to lose weight? So he did say he's aggressive, but you know she was like, "Hold up, what kind of aggressive?" It, basically, when he wants some, he go after it, and he don't have a problem with telling that lady that that's what he want. He want to marry her. Yada yada. yada. And that can scare some women off too. You come on too aggressive like that and go, "Dang, bro, I don't know you like that. Let's get to know one another." You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he <laughs> likes to say how he feels up front. All right, so um, Minga be working with him. Let's move on to Paris and Joseph out there. Uh, Paris just throwing all them on um, what dunks and stuff like that. Slam dunks. That's not no dunks. Dunks when you jump up, bam! That's a dunk. She was hitting them trays, man. Dropping them dimes. Oh, she was hitting yeah. them three pointers. Yep. Oh, Lord, that mercy. You don't know about no sports. Well, that was three pointers. Never that far enough for three pointers. Whatever she was doing, it was going in the goal. That's what she was doing. And so, anyway, oh, yeah, man. so she was being her own me. fiance. You know, what embarrassing. And then you said she looked at athletic. Yeah, she looked at athletic. <laughs> <laughs> so I can tell she plays sports. Yeah. I think she, you know, like she, I, I guarantee you, she looks familiar. I guarantee she, she do look kind of familiar. Yeah, too. she played basketball somewhere, I guarantee you. So let's move on to where um, Kelly is on her date with her man James from Good Time. No, I'm just playing. That is not her date. <laughs> but that's what we look like, Chad. That is who we look like. So, yeah. 
<laughs> so, you know, they've been together two years and they date long distance. So, we're going to see how that go. Yeah, we're going to see how it go. All right. So, Shay <laughs> is on her second date and... um. Uh, she gonna feel this dude. Yeah, she yeah yeah. Dude came in, honey, like yeah, just got to work, sit down, honey, yeah, and like, they just sitting at the yeah, chicken he, joint. He just he just didn't sit down. He sat down like he was at home on the couch. Yeah, man, he did. you know what I'm saying. Like Shay was his big sister, yeah, and right. just me and, and <laughs> yeah. um to eat dinner. Um, so I forgot his name was Tremel. Yeah, Tremel. Yeah, yeah, something, something like, that. like that. So they started talking about um, kids and everything, and you know how he neutered, so to speak. Yeah, sometimes on the first date you can't give out too much information. I think he did, man. Some things you need to keep to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, you don't tell a woman you neutered like you're a dog, man. <laughs> Come on, man. So it's one thing that Shay did say that she she was telling the duo she's not used to dating multiple people, you know, at one time. You know, she's like to date one at a time. She said, well, this is a dating thing, and you got to date multiple, <laughs> multiple people. Now, when I was single and dating, I did date multiple people. Um, you know, because child, when I try to do one, honey, mm -mm, I say, no, I'm not going to put all my energy into that. Let me just, <laughs> and I did, and I enjoyed it for a minute, but then child, it get confused, honey. You got to talk to these people. You scared you're going to say the wrong name and all that. So it yeah, just became too that's much. That's why when I was dating multiple people, I would tell a woman, hey, babe, or oh, boo, because I forget their names. <laughs> so I can't call them. Because I don't want to mess up the names. Yeah. So I call them like babe, sweetie, something like that. Yeah. You know, so that's why you keep, you know. I know how to do that. Hmm? Yeah, I, I do that. Okay. Anyway, so, um, so yeah, so <laughs> it, it can become a tax. But what they're just trying to do is just trying to weed it out. Just, you know, keep going until you. It's, yeah, but it's still easier for women to date multiple guys. Because most guys, when they date women, we got to pay for the date. We got to take them out. And that's what we do. Now, when I was dating multiple women, it was fine and dandy until I started start paying them bills. I'm like, God, leave. Put the hill, send the power down. Still add a little quick, man. I said, what happened to the McDonald's date? <laughs> you know what I'm Applebee's. Yeah, man. Um, two for 20. But, um, so, yeah, it is easier you know, for women, you know, yeah, I guess, I go, guess, you know, just go some, out get a free meal. But some men, they don't, it don't bother them. They say, you know, they'll pay for it all the time. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, at one time somebody was like, come and was like, ain't no problem. No, man. it was about what spending two hundred dollars. Yeah, man, don't be, don't be buying that. He is saying that trying to draw attention to himself. <laughs> man, come on, that's the oldest. You know, they be the first ones. Like, I ain't got a problem paying. Yeah, you do, man. Let them hit you for five hundred dollars, like in in a week, and see what happens. Man, I lost my car. <laughs> I repo my car. Yeah, car. You trying to ball, man? Yeah. Trying to impress these women, man? Yeah, right. But yeah. So anyway, um, mm -hmm. let's let's go. So Shay came back to the duo mm -hmm. to let them know that her and that dude they had no chemistry, and you could tell, child, yeah. because that was just cousin Pookie hunting from um down the street. So. Cousin Pookie who like shoot guns. Oh yeah, he did yeah, say I that. My, oh, his yeah, nine year old daughter a gun. I said, I understand you're going to try to train your kids to use guns and get them comfortable with guns or weapons or whatnot, but I don't know. Nine years old to me is still a little too young, but that's my opinion. Well, anyway, I'm going to talk about that. So, um, Shay <laughs> was talking about Mark. That's who she... Now, when Shay posted that picture of that dude that she went on that date with Tremia uh, on Twitter, I was like, what happened to Mark? But, yes, yeah. I, I ain't feeling That was misdirect. That yeah. was misdirect. I ain't feeling Tremia. So, anyway, um, so, yes, Shay said that her and Mark have great chemistry. They're very compatible. Now, Mark said he got one, two, three, four children. But mind you now, two of them kids, they, uh, well, they're not kids no more. They're adults. So. Two adults and like a 12 and a 9-year-old, yeah. something like that or whatever. So my husband asked me the question, could I date somebody <clears> with that many kids? I said, or well, small kids. I said, I could, but it just depends. I've been on dates with guys that have, you know, smaller kids. <sighs> but it's easier for sometimes women to date guys with kids because the kids will be right. the mom most of the time, you know. Mm -hmm. But if they got them little girls, and them little girls get jealous over their dad, like, I don't want no woman with their dad and stuff like that. So it just depends <laughs> on the children, you know. Now, me personally, me when I was dating, I had a, a cutoff limit. I don't want to date women with more than two kids. 
they gotta be older kids because I tried to date women with younger kids and they just then like I gotta find a babysitter I gotta do this I gotta do that so I was man you know you know I, I you know I can't be waste my time with that right. you know what I'm saying so and, and there's no shade to the women that got born with two kids oh, that's yeah. just my preference you right. know what I'm saying some guy don't mind yeah because it depends on where you are in, in your cycle of life All right, you, you know, know what I'm saying I was really you know my my child was grown and gone, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't want to start back over with smaller kids. They ask her the question as far as, you know, how's their sexual chemistry or, you know, something about sex. And so she was like, well, <laughs> he starts smiling. I'm production. So, Shay, what happened with you and Mark? <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> Because I'm sitting up digging. <laughs> you really tapping on my phone. I'm trying for your back up all like protection I know. Yeah, that was <laughs> yeah, you ruined the whole joke. Look at <laughs> And so anyway, they said she said, um, well, let's just say, you know, um, he asked, could he come over to watch the game? I invite him on my house to watch the game and you know, one thing led to another, honey. And, um, Basically, he got the We got did what grown folks do. He got the cookies. So, man. yeah, he got the cookies, honey. And so. my thing is, what happened to Netflix and chips? They ain't doing the Netflix. Dude, so you want to come watch the football? Oh, the football game? He must don't like football. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he was trying to score. Score? I don't know. I'm quite sure Mark didn't find out who won. I, I wonder if Mark feel offended that Shay didn't put his business all out there. Like, know. this was the what? This First date. The first girl. They, well, they went on the first date. The next day. It was the next yeah, day. Yeah, they did it. And you know what? I could tell Shay was not feeling tr- Tremaya. Because she was still attached to Mark. I but think. then, but look how she came on a date with Mark. Yeah. But look how she came on a date with tr- tr- Tremaya. Yeah. Child. She had just got off work, honey, yeah. working a double shift. So, yeah, look how she... So, yeah, <laughs> it, it, it really truly I, wasn't I that. have mixed feelings about that, doing it that soon. And I understand I some women don't, you know, they, they want to try the product and all that, you know, but... Me as a man, if you give it to me that quick, I'm just gonna I'm be thinking that man. If you gave it to me like that, you gave it to other dude like that. So I'm gonna look at you, you know, kind of different now. You know what I'm saying? And I know the way men do it all the time. Well, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Women look at men like that. You know, if he slept with me like this this soon, I know he did other women like other women like that. So. That's just what I look at. Don't, <laughs> you don't think so? I don't think women look at it like that. I really don't. I think, because women are... So, oh, I, I hear it all the time. Oh, he's a dog. He's a ho-. You know, I hear it all the time. But yet, they still be the dog of the hoe. So, I don't think that mm-hmm. men get the the play like, oh, maybe he's a player, but I don't think that they get a whole bunch of, oh, he slept with a lot of women yeah, and I, I don't it. want to be with him. But you saying that a, a, a man would say, oh, she slept with a lot of men. I tasted and tried, but well, I don't want to be with her no more. Right, you know what I'm right. saying? But, um, yeah, me I, personally yeah, to I, each his own, yeah, but I, 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 no, I'm not going to sleep with you on the first date. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that or with a second, third, fourth, no. Nah, I'm saying, that. if you give it to me that quick, I know Joe down the street might got it that quick. Yeah. And all women might disagree with it. Well, maybe she has a connection with that guy. Oh, he was still. You have a lot of chemistry and connection with him. But I just, when you, when you add sex into it too quick, it gets all convoluted it for does, a lot of people. Man. Because <laughs> you'll see red flags and the things that you really but too true, late now. Want, but that is the sex that got yeah. you caught up because it was so good or whatever the case may be. So for women, it's an emotional connection. You see how she's smitten. Oh, yeah, now, she's I don't smitten. know what Mark over there Mark doing. Mark at home with somebody his second family. <laughs> oh, <so. laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I don't know, but yeah, it's just, you know, that, that was I, too soon. I, yeah, that was too soon, man. And I know she ain't been a long time for but it's too And also, soon. man, men like to chase, man. That's our nature. We like to chase. And you got to give us something to chase. Don't, don't, don't roll over like that so quickly. You know well, what I'm saying? Honey, he came to watch the game. He had chased, he he chased it just a little bit, honey. Yeah, for this I, time. Pretty proud. <laughs> I probably just got through the first quarter. That was <laughs> <laughs> so Shay is talking to her client Ashley. You know, Ashley is um he, she's still trying to find her somebody. So they FaceTiming and um mm-hmm. 
And she, now she said this now because um, Ashley is a sex blogger. And so she was saying, you know, I know you want to find somebody to have chemistry with and all this stuff that you can have a connection with. Not just sex because you can have sex with anybody. Yeah, I said, yeah, it's you so should. It's so easy to get. Yeah, that's when she said it. I said, yeah, you should know. <laughs> you should know. Yeah. So she let her know that she does have a guy for her that kind of ha- that's compatible with her and everything. So, you know, that's basically what she's trying to get her to so the duo are meeting up with g y'all know g was a hard sale chat oh yeah g I was mean. a hard sale so she said don't wait till time or do nothing like to that. me personally i know she also it's gonna take a real man to date me yeah you know yeah i see what she's saying but i don't know she be to me uh, she'd be hard for me to date somebody like that man so you know because you know, she's like i don't know she's kind of stuck on herself to me yeah so what, when they found some somebody, so no, you got to worry did. about it. You got to worry about trying to you know, find some the date hook. Cause, you know, I know you said it'd be hard to date. You ain't got to worry about date because they found the somebody. I got so me you, Okay, then you don't make that clear. <laughs> I, I'm just saying. You don't get it, man. I'm not trying to. I know. I know but. Wow, so G man. said that it was a refreshing date to go on a date with Greg. That's his name. And, um... And she said he looked like his picture. You know, men of that age ain't finna add no filter. Hold on, <laughs> now. I took offense to that, man. Why you saying men of that age, I man? I only said it one time. I ain't kept saying it. Man, you call, you say, well, yeah, yeah. Because when you watch, oh, yeah, I know why he was doing all that. Because look at old. Come on, man. Because he's, he's, he's in his 50s. He's, he he's right. mature. That's all. I, he's a bit more, more, bit right, more mature. Get at your feeling because y'all the same age. Now. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> now. You take some good selfies. I mean, you do. But Greg probably take this selfie like this. No. You think so? Yeah, he, tell me he look like himself. I'm quite sure. We got to find Greg like Instagram this. account. See how you take your selfie, bro. He probably like. You got one of the prison selfies? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so um, she enjoyed the date. It was great energy, great chemistry and stuff like that. So Greg was putting on his best. He was Hey, sit down. I'll pull the chair back for you. He even got her a gift. Um, what else? He ordered for her. And I think when they said he ordered for her, he told her, she told him what she wanted. Right. And, you know, he just told the waitress, you know. Because yeah, yeah, they were like, he ordered for you. So it, it, most men will put on a good game face the first time. The first you know what I'm saying? But you got to see it's just a continual thing here. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you do it two or three times and you see the real, the real Greg five, Dicks in, then that's what you said. Yeah, sit down. What you yeah, waiting what you wait on me for? You better eat that food good. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but anyway, let's move on to me in her office. Um, she. Mm, mm, she talking to Umstead. Mm-mm. So um, she was in our office and she was talking to her assistant. And so she called and pretty much asked, hey, let's, let's go out, you know, for a date. A, you know, like a day date so you can get to know me and stuff like that. So, you know. I mean, he was down with that. So let's move on to the astrology singles mixer with Tim. Tim. He was the host. He's also a matchmaker. So all the matchmakers are coming in except for me because me said. Yeah, date well, invisible husband. <laughs> imaginary husband. Listen, man. I can't be doing too much stuff, honey. I'm trying to restore and repair my own marriage. <clears throat> so. You know when as the cup as the matchmakers are mingling and mixing, you know they have to ask the other people there, are they single? And that is a weird kind of thing because the way they ask it, the person they ask it don't know if they ask it for them or not. You know what I'm saying? They should say, "Hey, I'm a matchmaker. I'm just trying to see are you single." Yeah. You know. Um. But yeah. So Lamont asked, "Do are you single?" He was Dude like, said, "Uh, ooh, ee, <laughs> ah." Uh, yeah, I'm single. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you got to understand, he don't know if Lamont trying to come on to right. him or not. And I don't blame yeah. dude, man. It's an Atlanta. Yeah, now, he lucky he asked that dude. He asked one of the dudes from around the block. You going to have a man ask him if he's single? He might get cold cop. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah you got to be careful with that. And know Lamont got a husband all that stuff. He said, bro, I don't want you. But I'm just saying you. And even the women, you know. And my question was when I was asking Eddie, I said, now, you know, these female matchmakers flirt a little. 
You know, like me was like, oh my gosh, you're so handsome to um, Amistad yeah. and everything. And so it's like, you know, do y'all feel like flirting is what I feel like they got to do what they got to do. If it was a man, he'd probably be flirting with that woman, calling her beautiful and stuff like that just yeah. to get, you know, the sale. Yeah, I get it. You know, it's part of the business. But still, you got to be kind of careful with that call. You keep t- calling your client handsome or beautiful, they're going to think you're trying to come on to them. You know what I'm saying? So, me personally, I wouldn't do it. You know, they just me. So, Tim is te- is telling Tanya all this stuff, of, and she's just like, whatever, because he was looking at all this stuff, and this the kind of person you need to be matched with, and da 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 da. And the reason why, I'm sorry, the reason why he was at saying all these things because before they got invited, they had to fill out this questionnaire yeah. with they, all their little, you know, personality traits or whatnot. So, that's why he had it all ready for them. Okay. Uh, but she wasn't feeling it. So, Shay is telling Joseph and Lamont that the duo found her date and they happy for her. So, Joseph pulled her to the side and said, listen, I want you and Paris to just kind of squash this stuff. You know, I know y'all had high engine. Both of y'all probably came at each other wrong, but if y'all could just squash it. So, Man, the way Shay was feeling out, she got through with Mark. She was on cloud nine. Yes, she was, And yeah, she go, Paris go slap the couple times. Five out. She would still be smiling. <laughs> Yeah, she really is like this. Football. <laughs> Football. Football. <laughs> and so what did she say? Football. Uh, touchdown. So anyway. Uh, you scored. <laughs> yes. And the crowd goes wild. So they are. Uh, you want to go to overtime? <laughs> so anyway, so he called Paris over there and, you know, they just kind of. Um, um, Shay apologized because she was like, listen, you know, first I didn't know you. I didn't know you was really here. You know, Joseph like a brother to me. I didn't know your intentions and everything. So she did apologize coming at her sideways. And so, you know, they just started over until Shay made that slide remark in the confessions called some skinny tree. I don't know if she was talking about her in particular, but. Yeah, Shay throwing shade. So let's move on to um, Armistead got a date. Me hooked him up with Taisha. Taisha, you was the one I never had. Now, first of all, I want to say that production missed the ball on this one because they were not mic so y'all had to put them words yeah. down there. And even with that, you know what I'm saying, reading fast yeah. and stuff like that. I yeah, was like, y'all, oh. I, was like, well, I said, why they talking so low? You said, when they got a mic on. Yeah, they either, maybe it didn't have a mic on on or they didn't have the little overhead mic that they normally would put on people over yeah. you know they but, can't be dropping the ball like that man. so I'ma <laughs> say that his date was amazing honey he came back smiling I'ma say I wanted to marry her right then and there oh, yeah he said so, you know he's real aggressive man. oh yeah so she said um so you know I can bet to have a second date he said oh we already we already playing that second date you have we just let you left you out the mix so she did say that um they're still gonna be coaching she's still going to be coaching him through it all and everything you know some things that he need to do and all that stuff she did talk to Taish and Taish hey, also was feeling yeah but I don't stay at bro kill my fire kill my fire you got you got to play it cool man you can't be showing your cards too quickly man play it cool man you know what I'm saying sit back you got that uh accent man you're gonna drive you drive the women crazy you know you sit back and chill man you let it come to you you know, when you get too aggressive, man, you can run some women away. You know what I'm saying? Because I go, he ain't used to a pretty woman. Look at that. He all want to marry me on the second date. You know what I'm saying? So never done that. Somebody did you like that? Yeah. Always, yes. Always. Yeah. Always. I was to say something. You always. I don't mean always, but I'm just saying, sometimes they just be too anxious. You know what I'm saying? Some of them be just too anxious. So yeah. That's why I never was too anxious. Man. I always played the cool. Man. Yeah. Because I knew when I walked in the room with the female and she looked at me, I was the best thing in that room for her. That's how I felt. Even though you five eleven. All right, so let's move on. That's some, 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 some good confidence. That's some good confidence. I'll be having the heels on. <laughs> they gonna never he, know. He's the tallest one in the room. So, uh, so yeah, they was feeling each other. So let's move on to Chris and Kelly date. Oh yeah, Chris is um James from Good Time. Uh, yeah, that's who he looked like. Date? Oh, yeah, she, they. Yeah, well, she was taken to the airport. 
Yeah, yeah, they was yeah. I ain't know when they was in the car. I ain't know what it was doing. Yeah, yeah, so um, they was talking about the long distance relationship, <laughs> and you know, as far as what was the next step, and what Chris said. Man, I ain't moved to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I'm staying in the D. He said, yeah. Yeah, I'm, you know, hey, I got to be there for my daughter, which I get it. You know, he got to be there for, I guess he's fighting custody for his daughter or something like that. Something like that. Yeah, he said, I'm, I'm not moved. But I'm just saying, why y'all didn't talk about this before she moved to Atlanta, right. man? Yeah. You know, now she got her business built up. Now you got to make a decision. And uh, I thought she was going to pull over the side of the road and looked at James and said, damn, damn. <laughs> That's what I thought she was going to do. But she kept on driving. <laughs> so <clears throat> she did drop him off at the airport. Dang, and you got to say it like that? Because I was, I didn't write that down. And like he, she had dropped him off at the airport. <laughs> Well, the way she dropped him off, child, didn't look like she wanted no hug or nothing because I think she was a little disappointed oh, that, yeah. she was you know, upset. she was like, dog, you ain't have to say it like that, you yeah. know, like, it's just absolutely, you know, um, and so he was like, well, I wasn't trying to say it like that, you know, no, that's he, just basically I think what he was is. saying, well, we need to find out what's the next thing we're going to do, and she said, well, you seem like you already made your mind right. up, you know what I'm saying, so... So, um, let's move on to Ashley date with Rolando. Or Rolando or Rolando, something. yeah. So, they have, and Ashley is Shay's client, you know, the dark-skinned girl, yeah. you know, short hair. So, um, so they have a lot in common. She said that she loved Atlanta. You know, Atlanta's up her alley. She was, what, from North Carolina? Fairville, Fairville, North Carolina. I was stationed at Fort Bragg in Fairville, so I know exactly where she was at, man. Small town. Small, really? yeah. So, um, but yeah, she said she loved Atlanta. She also um, is into the Swingers Club. Mm-hmm. And she said something like it was big in Fayetteville or something like that. I guess they ain't had nothing to do. Um, yeah, well, you got a lot, of mili a lot of military people there, so... Yeah, so she asked him, was he into it? He said he's tried it. You know, it's it, he'll try anything once and stuff like that. So she said, well, you know I'm into it. He said, yeah, I can tell you. Yeah. So, uh, but, but, but he was fascinated by the way uh, Ashley looked, man. With the dark skin, skin pretty tone. skin, and, and the, the thick lips. Yeah. yeah he she, said that's a big plus for him, yeah. skin tone and lips. Yeah, she's right. A lot of and people she, dying to get lips like her. And man. just her facial expression. She like. Yeah. When when they uh, <laughs> I said, go ahead and ask her, honey. So yeah. she said, Well yep, that like you said, she said a lot of people dying to get these lips right here yeah. and they paying a lot of a money lot of for money them. for one. You're right. So, um, let's see. So Shay is having a follow up with Ashley and just sit down and she asks about, you know, how things going, she like him and all that stuff like that. So she asked about sex. Oh, child, we done done that, honey. She said, I gotta try it out. So yeah, with I said, Ooh, there we go again, first date, honey. And Shay was like, well, girl, I know how you feel, honey. I did the same thing, girl. I just did the same. Shay said, I don't do no 90 days, honey. Need that stuff to steal hard, honey. I'm going to do my own oh, plan. Oh, oh, oh. I think you trying to throw Shay at 90 day fiance. You get it? 90 day, 90 day want, want. That's the 90 days to get married, not to have sex, child. Oh, I never had it. It's ninety days, did three months. That's like what um Steve Harvey say: wait ninety days before women yeah. have sex with. Them. Oh, that's what you get in color. Yeah, yeah. Okay, anyway, all right, come on back. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, she said she tried and everything, and um, anyway, so let's move on to Shay is setting up, is sitting down with Ming. And first of all, Ming walk up and she texts me. I know she a busy woman, honey. So Ming texts and Shay felt a little slighted and a little offended and rude. Yeah, who she was texting though? She said a client, I a thought client. she said. Thought, yeah, okay. So um, she asked um, her, did she want to eat some of these well, macaroons? Macaroons, yeah. And then what she called the other thing? <laughs> <laughs> Scorchies and scorns. It was scorch? I forgot what she asked me. Well, scones, that's, what, that's, a, uh, that's how you pronounce it, scones. Yeah. And she said scrunchies or something. <laughs> <laughs> and she kept calling them wrong. And, and she we, thought she said with confidence, yeah, too. Yes, she did. These scrunchies taste good. <laughs> <laughs> scones. That's what you call them. Scones. I think it was scrunch. Yeah. Something like that, but scrones. Yeah. yeah. And then production, Scrong. what they did? They oh, showed they showed it like a, the way she pronounced it was like a light picture. You know what I'm saying? Like a light picture. And scrone 
it's the the cookie of the food they was eating. Yeah, so uh, uh, shade protection. And then Shay was like, I'm gonna see how bougie she is, and she said she up there calling the thing wrong. She ain't even correct her or nothing. Yeah. She just laughed <laughs> in her confession because she said uh, she ain't that bougie. Yeah. She said, Well, see, that's what it is. She trying to be something she ain't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so they basically get into the conversation about Shay, about the fight, <laughs> blah, 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 being ghetto, blah, yada. And um, and they fuss a, a little, a little light fussing back and yeah. forth with that. Um, wasn't much to talk about in that. But they was fighting all them doggone nets, honey. I said, who idea was this? Yeah, it must be the middle of the day in Atlanta. <laughs> so, um, so me is asking her, you know, well, you know, I know... You got the middle budget. It's middle class. Yeah, Shay said, you know, I know you didn't call, I've heard that you called it the middle budget or whatever, uh, but low no. Budget, yeah, low it, 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 she said, no, it's called the middle class. She's like, well, what What does that mean? What is that for? Like, why? Because she's saying, mean does the up, upper class, you know, matchmaking. You know, you got seven, four, 50, 75,000 to 100,000. You know, Somebody, you no, know, got to, got to have a lot of money to do something like that. So Shay does to like the middle class, you know, four five thousand dollars, you know, what I'm saying for the working man, working woman, you know. So, so you know, it's everybody, both of them got their little niche. They, 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 yeah, they, but they at first, me was trying to downplay yeah, hers yeah. because she's like, mm, that low budget, half a budget, whatever she called it. And then she said, oh, it's middle class. Middle class. And she feels some type of way that she looks down on her and like me just came out. What? I think she said she she was selling something. Like she came from, like she just was born with a silver I think, spoon. Yeah, I think she said she came from New Jersey, New York, something like that. Something. Yeah, and uh, <clears throat> she kind of came up now she looked down on everybody yeah and so um she said yeah there's a difference between you know mine and yours and me was saying you know mine is just not money wise it's time because i spent a lot a lot of time trying to you know match them yeah and do this and you know coach them and do all that stuff whatever so i guess shay you know but again like i said shay with her with her package honey Mm -hmm. you get therapy right i ain't hear none of the mothers will say you get therapy so if shay has the middle class and me has the upper class we get the lower class. So you got bullet holes, stab wounds. <laughs> All right, you guys on that note, that's it. That's it for Love Match Atlanta. I really and truly, again, I say it again, I um, I wish this show probably was on another network. Maybe it'll get more viewership, but, you know, I'm going to check the ratings and see how it goes because they tried to put it on right after Housewives of Atlanta. But for what? Because, honey, that is bombing, honey. So please. Well, all I know is this, you know, at all the shows we've been doing, this is probably one of the better shows, in my opinion. Yeah. You know, so I thoroughly enjoy, enjoy this show, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And I really think it's good for singles, too, to probably get a little bit more insight on some things that they probably can improve on, you know, as far as getting a date. Because they throw out some cute, some cute, some cute and good little nuggets that, right. you know, people can use. So Yeah. But on that note, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Don't forget to go with God and let God go with you. I always put God first. Deuces.